While Ted himself was born many moons ago, he wouldn't tell me an age, just that he was less than 100, but old enough to know better. Ted Baker, as we know it, is but 19 years old. Ted's eureka moment for the business came on a fishing trip in 1987 while he was trying to reel in a monstrous carp. He lost the fish, but gained an international lifestyle brand. A fair exchange, I think you'll agree. After all, there are plenty more fish in the sea. Or lake, as was actually the case. He opened his first store in Scotland the year after. Glasgow, to be exact. So he's always been a bit of an Englishman abroad. His attention to detail, belief in designing for his customers, not his ego, and quirky sense of humor rapidly gained him a keen following. In fact, his popularity inspired him to open stores in Manchester, Nottingham, and London. The rest of the UK wasn't too far behind either, but that's not what this tale's about. You see, having conquered the UK in 1998, Ted came to the US of A. Now, normally these sorts of fairy tale success stories involve people arriving in the US with just the shirt on their backs. Ted, however, came to New York with a store's worth of shirts for your backs. He had a lot of lovely suits and dresses too, not to mention some rather nice accessories. Anyway, the Big Apple loved his eccentric ways and how he blended the finest traditions of English tailoring with a thoroughly contemporary twist. The problem was he couldn't find a good cup of tea anywhere. So, knowing what Bostonians do with tea, he decided to head west in search of the perfect tupper and to open a few more stores. His first stop was San Jose, then San Francisco. Las Vegas followed soon after, as did Los Angeles, Dallas, Costa Mesa, and most recently, Miami. Everywhere he went, people stopped to wonder, who's that rather dapper fellow? And why on earth does his Las Vegas store have a huge portrait of Henry VIII in it? The answer, of course, is that it's Ted Baker. And why not? Ted's always believed fashion should be fun. That's why, like his clothes, he packs his stores with lots of lovely little details, so they're inviting to one and all. He never wanted to be just another uber-exclusive designer label. Instead, he's taken a path less trodden and created a designer label that's accessible to all. In that sense, Ted Baker's less of an elite club and more of a well-groomed family. No, I